Welcome back to Grilling with Grove, and what I've got going for you today is a ribeye steak. Now this ribeye steak is fairly small, it looks to be about a half inch or so, and it's 0.6 pounds of meat. So the way that we're going to cook this today is the afterburner method. I'm going to show you how to achieve that in just a little bit. However, what we're going to do first is we're going to salt the meat. Now I've already got the salt laid out, so let me show you what we're looking at. Here's a look at that steak skewered up and the salt right next to it. We've got about a little bit more than one fourth teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, if you're using table salt, it's gonna be a different amount and I'll leave that down in the description box below. Now you notice that this steak is on skewers and the reason for that is that the afterburner method is gonna be on top of a chimney starter. So let's put the salt on the meat and we're gonna let it rest overnight. We'll get back to you when we're ready to put it on the chimney. Welcome back. It's the next day and we've taken our steak out of the refrigerator. And as you can see, it's turned a nice red color and it's actually a little bit dried up, which is good because that's going to help us form that amazing crust that you're looking for on a steak. But because it's dried up, we're going to use a binder to apply the big bad beef rub that we made in our previous video. I've chosen W sauce, but use anything you like, so long as it's not oil or butter, because that's gonna burn at the high temps that we're cooking at today. So I'm gonna season the meat up, and I will get right back with you. Here's a look at that steak seasoned up. You wanna be careful how heavily you season, because we're cooking on the chimney. The temperature is gonna get about 800 degrees or so, so you don't wanna to put too much seasoning on, because it could burn. All right, our chimney's getting started up, so let's get out there. So as you can see, we put our steak on and the flames are touching the meat and it's getting dark quickly. So we're gonna go 30 seconds each side. We'll get back to you when it's done. Here's a look at the finalized steak and it looks absolutely amazing. We went about 30 seconds on each side and then we took the temperature and it was about 135. So we hovered it over the chimney for just a little bit longer and then we rested it and I've tempted it again and it came up to 145. So let's cut into the steak and take a look at it. Here's a look at that steak cut up and as you can see there's red but there's also areas of gray and that's to be expected with the steak this thin and high temperatures we were cooking at. Uh, but let's get down to the taste which is the most important part. All right, here we go everyone. Here's a taste test of that steak. Very good. It's got a very distinct kind of crust to it, uh, very much like what you would get at a steakhouse. Uh, you can still taste the different seasonings in there, so I know that they're not burned. It still had a lot of moisture in it, even though that it did not look medium rare. One thing that I didn't mention earlier that I want to mention is that when you're dealing with high temperatures like this, you want to make sure that you wear a pair of gloves that can withstand those temperatures. Uh, I had gloves on myself, so just go ahead and get a pair before you do this method. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, share with your friends, but most importantly, Go out and cook this video yourself. Thanks, everybody.